Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's a cold and blustery January day here in Pennsylvania, but thankfully I have these forced hyacinth blooms to basically chase away the winter blues. Forcing spring bulbs is really fun, and it's an easy way to have blooms inside your home all winter long. So today we're gonna to talk all about how to force hyacinths. And the first thing to note is that hyacinth bulbs do have a powdery coating on them that can cause skin irritation and itching. So I always like to wear my gardening gloves when I'm working with the bulbs. Now hyacinth bulbs need a chilling period of 12 to 14 weeks at 40 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit in order to flower properly. An easy way to accomplish this chilling time is to stick the bulbs into the crisper drawer of your refrigerator when you receive them in the fall. I like to place the bulbs in brown paper bags and label them with the date they began chilling. Now you can always chill a bulb longer than necessary, just not shorter because then they may fail to flower properly for you. Also, take care not to place any ripening fruit in the same drawer where you're storing these bulbs. Ripening fruits such as apples, pears, and bananas, they all give off ethylene gas, which can cause the flower inside the bulb to abort. Now, after your bulbs have been chilled for 12 to 14 weeks, you can take the hyacinth bulbs out of the crisper drawer and decide if you wanna plant them in soil or water. To grow hyacinths over water, place a thick bed of pebbles into a watertight container, such as a large glass vase or antique buffet dish. Nestle the pre-chilled bulbs into the pebbles, leaving about half of the bulb exposed. I like to place the bulbs very close together for a nice full display. Then fill the vessel with water until it's just below the base of the bulb and maintain this water level as they bloom and grow. To grow hyacinths in soil, choose a strong container with a drainage hole and fill it almost to the top with pre-moistened potting soil. Plant the hyacinth bulbs closely together with the pointy side of the bulb facing up always. Cover with more soil until the tips of the bulbs are about an inch below the soil surface. Then I like to encourage strong rooting, which will help support these large flower heads and decrease the likelihood that they'll fall over as they bloom inside your home. So to do this, after you've planted your bulbs, place them in a cool, dark environment that's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit for one to two weeks. I use our unheated basement but a cool kitchen cabinet that remains closed or a closet would both be good options. Now you can skip this step if you like, but I find it's helpful in keeping the stem strong and I always take this additional step. After one to two weeks, you'll start to see some yellow shoot growth and the bulbs will have started to root in. At this time, bring the bulbs out of darkness and place them in an area with indirect light and temperatures of approximately 65 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Water is needed to keep the soil slightly moist and keep the water level just below the base of the bulbs if you're growing them on a bed of pebbles. You can also rotate the containers periodically to keep the flowering spikes straight. It usually takes about three to four weeks for pre-chilled hyacinth bulbs to come into full bloom. That's not including that time in darkness. But basically all we do now is enjoy the beautiful fragrant blooms. Keep the soil evenly moist and to extend the bloom time, keep your planters in an area that's relatively cool and out of direct sunlight. As soon as mine are really butted up, I try to find a location in our house that's a little bit cooler and gets light, but not intense sunlight. That will really help the flowers last as long as possible. And one other thing I like to do is to just force hyacinth blooms, so I have some homegrown flowers to use for cutting. You guys know I love cut flowers, and I think this is just a great way to continue to grow your own cut flowers in the dead of winter. So I wanna wish you a wonderful day and happy gardening. Bye.